Testing, testing. Thank 
قال ربك هو علي هين ولنجعله آية للناس ورحمة منا وكان أمرا مقضيا فحملته فانتبذت به مكانا قصيا 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 فأجاء قالت يا ليتني مت قبل هذا 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 وكنت نسيا منسيا فناداها ألا تحزني قد جعل ربك تحتك سريا وهزي إليك بجذع النخلة تساقط عليك رطبا جنيا وهزي إليك بجذع النخلة تساقط عليك رطبا جنيا فكلي واشربي وقري عينا فإما ترين من البشر أحدا فقولي فقولي إني نذرت للرحمن صوما فكلي واشربي وقري عينا فإما ترين من البشر أحدا فقولي إني نذرت فلن أكلم اليوم إنسيا فأتت به قومها تحمله قالوا يا مريم لقد جئت شيئا فريا يا أخت هارون ما كان أبوك امرأ سوء وما كانت فأشارت إليه قالوا كيف نكلم من كان في المهد صبيا قالوا كيف نكلم من كان في المهد صبيا قال إني عبد الله قال إني عبد الله آتاني وجعلني نبيا وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا وبرا بوالدتي ولم يجعلني جبارا شقيا والسلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم أموت ويوم أبعث حيا والسلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم أموت ويوم أبعث حيا ذلك عيسى بن مريم ذلك عيسى بن مريم ذلك عيسى بن مريم قول الحق الذي فيه يمتعون ذلك عيسى بن مريم قول الحق الذي فيه يمتعون ما كان لله أن يتخذ من ولد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن Testing, testing. ما كان لله أن يتخذ من ولد سبحانه إذا 
قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون وإن الله ربي How much TV do Muslims watch? Today, we are going to be reading out of this book called Screen Time Sickness. After that, we are going to be making a decision about what is the best team in the entire galaxy. But before that, let us begin. The only thing better than lasagna is more lasagna, or so I used to think. It all started last year after the month of Ramadan. As you can imagine, Brother Amin, after doing 30 days of live programs, I was spent. I wanted to sit in a room with the lights off, sleeping in my bed for a week. But then my wife came with a surprise. She said, Amin, today is the day you've been waiting for. I got up. I said, what's going on? Is it true that we're finally going to be having white chocolate chip macadamia nut casserole? And she said, no, I mean, that doesn't sound very good at all. We're never going to have that. But I got something that you've been waiting for. And I said, what's that? She said, Amin, I have made you an entire tray of lasagna. <gasps> I couldn't believe it. I said, no, this cannot be happening. She says, yes, Amin, it is happening and I have done it. <sighs> Smell the sweet taste of that cheesy goodness. And I did, and she was right. I ran downstairs and I saw on the dinner table an entire tray of lasagna. I picked it up and it was like, the cheese was melted to perfection, a little bit burnt, but just the way I liked it. It smelled like just lasagna goodness. And I thought that maybe I had died and gone to Jannah, but no, this was real. I went to my prayer mat and I fell down to my knees and I said, Ya Allah, thank you for blessing me with this wife who made me lasagna an entire tray. What have I done to deserve this? And then I came back to the kitchen. I said, son, are you sure? Is this really just for me? Like, no one else is going to eat it? She said, no. I know how much you love lasagna. And so I thought I'd bake this just for you you. I said, so you're telling me that I'm not going to share this whole tray with you or with my daughter or my son or anybody? She said, nope, it's just for you. I thought to myself, Allahu Akbar, this may be the best day of my whole life. I remember getting to the kitchen table, grabbing my plate and my fork, and I made ever so gentle cuts, and I put out my piece, and I ate it, and I thought, oh my goodness, this is so good. And then after the first piece, I decided to take another piece, and I said, oh my goodness, it's so good. And then I had a third piece, and then a fourth piece, and then a fifth piece, and then a sixth piece. And then a seventh, you get the point. Now, it wasn't all in one sitting. It was for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next week. But there was something that happened that was a little bit unexpected. Now, here's the thing. Every single one of you has something that you love. Maybe it is food like me. Maybe it's a toy or a game that you play. Maybe it's watching TV, but when you begin to do too much, like me, it has unintended consequences. 
by the time I had my sixth or seventh piece. The lasagna that I loved so much, I began to hate. I began looking at this lasagna, and I was like, I don't want this anymore. It doesn't even taste that good. Not only that, because I wasn't eating any other food, and I wasn't getting the right nutrition, my back started hurting, and my knees started hurting. Brother Amin, I'm an old man. And that's when I learned a very important lesson. Too much of anything. Even lasagna. Well, it's not very good. And that is what we are going to be talking about today. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Brother Amin Asr, and today, inshallah, I am going to be taking you through our program. Now, I am the author of Nor Kids. What is Nor Kids? You ask. Great question. Well, Nor Kids is our book series where every month families get a new book delivered to their home. Books like Agents of Change, or Hungry for Halal, or Fiercest Frenemies, or Build a Better World, which looks like Minecraft, The Art of Giving, Girls vs. Boys, Lionhearted Muslim. Stay the Course, The Magnificent Maker. You guys, I could do this all day because we have almost 200 stories. And I'm also the leader here in the Muslim Treehouse where every single week throughout the entire year we do classes. Now, enough about me. Let's see some of the people who are here with us today. Let's see who we've got. We have got um, Allahu Akbar. Let's see who we've got over here. Sorry. Um, I see Anaz, Anaya and Aiza. I see Zarwa and Zoha. I see Sophia from the United States who's got fireworks behind her. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I see Rida from New York. I see Adam from Dubai. I see Alia from Canada. Hanifa and Halima from Canada. Rania from... Rania's not smiling. Ronnie, what's going on? Oh, there we go. That's the smile we've been waiting for. Arena from Pennsylvania. You guys, I need to say salams to some of you. Let's say salams to Mahira from Missouri. Assalamu alaikum, Mahira. How are you doing, my dear? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing good. Oh, my goodness. Are you doing good? Or are you doing super califragilistic expialidociously awesome? Supercalifragilisticexpialidociously awesome. Yes! Oh my goodness. So, seriously, Mahara, how is your Ramadan going? What have been some of the highlights so far? Um, well, it's my birthday today. No way! Are you serious? Allah! What, what are the chances? One in a thousand! Oh my goodness! Congratulations! Do you have any big plans? Uh... So I have a big chocolate cake that I'm eating for iftar. So that Don't helps. eat the whole thing, all right? Because I learned through my lasagna situation too much of anything. So if you have a little bit and you have it spread out, then you're going to... Is it like a double chocolate? What kind of chocolate are we th we're talking about here? So uh, it's double chocolate fudge cake. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. No, 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 no. Really? Do you think yes. it's going to be like moist, like when you have it and it like it's, oh no. Yes. Allah, Mahira. I have to tell you, honestly speaking, so yesterday was the beginning of the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. And so during the last 10 nights, your brother Amin and many moms and dads and parents, and hopefully you begin to really kick it into gear because these last 10 nights, one of these nights is going to be the night of power, a night worth over a thousand months. And we're going to be talking about it for the next few weeks, anyway, a few days. But more of the story is your brother Amin was awake almost all night. And so today I was, really? I was feeling a little bit tired. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling a little bit tired. But now, Mahira, after seeing you, after hearing about your double chocolate fudge cake, I'm back. Should we say songs to one more person or should we start the program? What do you think? You tell me. It's your, You get to decide. Uh, say salam to another person. Okay. And then, hey, let's do this. I'm planning on reading Screen Time Sickness, Okay. Are you familiar with the Nora Kids books? Have you read that book before? Yeah. There's another book called Mine, Mine, Mine. Now, I don't have it here, but it's a really fun book. We'll just, I've read that book. Okay, we'll just do Screen Time Sickness because it's going to be tough for me to prepare. I wish there was something else I could I could do for you. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Good to see you, my dear. Thank you. 
love you too. All right, thank you. All right, so let's say salams to one more person in the program before we officially start. Wow, what what a special moment. You guys, what a special moment. Okay? That was so cool. It literally made my heart happy. My heart, it's like singing right now. I'm going to say salam to Felicia from Montreal. I think she might speak French even. Let's see. Assalamu alaikum, Felicia. Waikum salam. How are you doing, my dear? Alhamdulillah, and you? I'm doing alhamdulillah good now that I'm speaking with you. Now, here's the thing. Felicia, are you doing alhamdulillah good? Are you doing supercalifragilisticexpialidociously awesome? Supercalifragilisticexpialidociously awesome. Yes. Now, you're from Montreal. Do you speak French? Yes. You do? Can you say, hello, my name is Felicia, and I live in Montreal in French? Bonjour, mon nom est Felicia, et j'habite en Montréal. You know, I went to Montreal. Okay, this is a true story. I went to Montreal, and then um, I rented my car, and on the way back, you have to return the car, but you have to put in gas or petrol. So I go to the gas station. It's super early in the morning, and I have to give the person money so that way I can put in the gas. But the person only speaks French. So I'm like, sir, I need gas. And he says, oui, oui, a uh, légulaire. I said, uh, no, sir, I just need gas. He says, oui, oui, a uh, légulaire. And I was like, I'm sorry, I just need the gas. He said, yeah, oui, 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 légulaire. And then what I realized is that he was saying regular, but he said it, yeah. but he said, légulaire. And so that's <laughs> that's the only word I know in French, légulaire. And it sounds awesome. Does it sound good? I think it sounds great. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. So, Felicia, are you having a wonderful Ramadan? Yeah, it's going good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm so happy to hear that. What do you think? Should we start the program? Yes. Okay, very good. You guys, we could say salams to people all day and all night. Of course, we're not going to do that. We are going to start our program. Now, here's the thing. If you are like me, you may have had parents tell you things like, hey, you can't watch too much TV. But why? Why can't we watch too much TV? What is wrong with watching TV all day and all night? Why not? These are important questions. And so in order to answer that question, we wrote a book called Screen Time Sickness. But before we do, I thought I'd ask you guys a question, or as some like to say, a question, all right? Now, this is uh, going to be on the Nearpod, uh, so you guys are going to be able to join. I'm going to send the link to the Nearpod in our Zoom chat. But while you guys are joining and answering the question, the question is, what is your favorite thing to watch on a screen and why? I'm going to play a quick ad from Noor Kids. Forgive and forget. Bruce's frenemies. We discuss topics that matter. Divine direction, being big hearted. Afterlife, honest to God, the miraculous message, can't you see? Take the high road. This is about doing the right thing even when no one is watching. Hungry for halal. It's, it has a lot of food in it. The Family for me is my favorite book because it teaches me to be thankful for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me. Pray, you get your soul will be clean. If you don't pray, your soul will be dirty. Our books prepare kids for the world that they are living in. Not just to survive, but to thrive. Kids can put themselves into the main shoes and think, what would I do in this situation? So that way, when they find themselves in that situation, they know the right way to respond. And my favorite book is See the Bright Side because it teaches you that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover and not everything's as it seems. Subhanallah, subhanallah. I'm so happy to hear that. And so like, look, real talk. There's only three days left for you to try Nora Kids for $1. And we need your support. And not only that, you guys are going to love it. But to spice things up, I shared with you yesterday that we would be doing a giveaway. We did do a giveaway today. We said what? We said that, look, anyone who decides to buy Nora Kids uh, yesterday, we would do a drawing and uh, those people would get a free t-shirt. So here are a list of names, all right? So uh, if your name is on here or your mom's name is on here, 
you are the proud owner of a new newer kids t-shirt that was a free gift that we picked just at random all right so take a look i'm going to give it two more seconds ready okay cool if you have it if that's you you email hassan at newerkids.com inshallah we'll be doing another giveaway today as well just you know to have a little bit of fun all right so here's what we got let's see what all you guys got so uh someone said minecraft videos we don't know who that is actually Fosia says soccer games and highlights along with Harry Potter videos. Okay. Willy Wonka movies. Raheem and Adam says tech videos and newer kids. Yes, newer kids is kind of cool. Our YouTube is awesome. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. By the way, we actually have it over here. That's our current subscribers. Hopefully it's more by the time we end. Oh, maybe. We, yep. Okay. Anyways, uh, newer kids because it's educational, YouTube and Roblox. I'm kind of curious. Oh, much of us is Batman. Z Zena says Wild Kratz because I love animals. I think Wild Kratz is a good show. I think Wild Kratz is a good show. Uh, Selma says gymnastics routines because I want to do gymnastics. You know, fun fact, my daughter and I, my daughter's really into two things, cooking and also art. And so we watch YouTube videos to learn how to cook, like bake different types of cookies. And also, we watch YouTube videos to figure out how to do different types of art, which is kind of cool. Raheem and Adam says, Madam NFL 24 Mobile. No way. I play Madden. I haven't played in years, but I used to. It was awesome. So cool. Uh, Rukay Hussein says, Noor Kids Celebrate Mercy and Darman. I don't know what Darman is, but that's pretty cool. Um, Nassim says, Noor Kids, because, I make, uh, because it makes us learn Islam and it's fun. And I love lasagna. Good. I love lasagna too. All right, cool. So look, moral of the story is, as human beings in 2024, many of us have a lot of options in terms of what we're watching and how much TV we are going to watch. But how much is too much and what happens when we watch too much? Well, to answer that question, I am going to be reading one story out of the book that is called Screen Time Sickness. All right, let me pull it up. It is right here. But before we start, I need everyone to say Bismillah rahman rahim On the count of three. One, two, three. Bismillah rahman rahim Too much tablet. You guys, this is a good, we're going to do drama today. All right? Some drama. Let's do this. Too much tablet. Asa then Amin spend the last period in the school library. Do you see any new episodes? Asks Amin and his, as his friend is on a tablet. Episodes of what? Amin pulls up the Noor Kids app on his tablet. Noor Kids, of course. What's that? Says Asad. They do khutbahs for kids. And the best part is that we are in them. It's kind of funny, right? Because like the Noor Kids characters are like in, because the, they're in it. And then, you know. Uh, it's very meta. On the way home, Asad asks mom for the phone. I just discovered something amazing. It's an app that does khutbahs for kids, says Asad. Mom hands over the phone and points to a container of carrot sticks. I brought your favorite snack, says mom. Yum. Thanks, mom. You're the best. Carrot sticks? They really are the best. Look, they have stories about the prophets. They have recitation of Quran. Asad giggles. They even have Muslim dad jokes. P.S. On Thursday, we're going to be doing our Muslim dad joke competition. And on Flip, we're going to be having our Muslim dad joke competition soon. You guys are going to love it. Anyways, yes, all on our YouTube. It's all there. Asad takes the last carrot stick. It's really good, and it's really good for me because I'm learning about Islam, says Asad as he's eating his carrot, watching his tablet full of Noor Kids videos. Well, honey, pay attention. Too much of anything can be a problem, says Mom. I hope not everything. Mom, these carrots are amazing. Now look, carrots are healthy. Maybe too much is not bad. I don't know. 
The next morning, Asad jumps out of bed. Alhamdulillah, it is Saturday. Today is Saturday, by the way. At the breakfast table, there's another container of fresh carrot sticks. Yum, more carrots, thinks Asad. What are your plans for today? Asked mom. I saw this cool experiment to make slime, so I think I'm going to make that, I think. Oh, he didn't say that. He just said, I think, once. I saw this cool experiment to make slime, so I'm going to make that, I think, on the Newer Kids app, says Mom. Precisely. Asad points to the container of carrot sticks. Can I take these with me? Sure, says Mom. In the Newer, in the family room, Asad pulls up the Newer Kids app. Allahu Akbar, you guys, that's me. That's me on the Newer Kids app. Okay. Today we'll be making slime. Asad watches the whole video. That was so cool. I need to get these items. But oh, this one looks good. One million reasons why I love Allah. I have to see that. Asad watches the program. MashaAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is magnificent. He's watching so much of the program. Asad hears rustling behind him. Russell, Russell, who's there? It's his little baby sister, Yusra. Play, play, play. I'm busy, says Asad. Uh, says Asad. Yusra comes into the room anyway. Play, 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 play. Play, play, play. That's what kids sound like sometimes. Play. All right, just chill out, relax, Yusra. Play. All right, Yusra. We got it. Play. All right, don't you know any other words? Just cool down. <sighs> she just can't stop. Sometimes younger siblings. Play. All right, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> just too much. Not now, I don't have time to play, says Asad. Yusra touches Asad's tablet. Don't touch my stuff! I'm doing something important! Go somewhere else, says Asad. Yusra leaves the room, bawling. Allah. You guys, we've all been there. Even as a dad, sometimes there's been times when I've been on my phone so distracted and then my daughter will come and then maybe i might be out of sorts maybe you were watching something your brother or sister your mom came they bothered you and you got angry just like asad not ideal not ideal oh look at this one my top 25 muslim dad jokes <laughs> that's so funny asad hears footsteps enter his room Yusra, stop bugging me, says Asad. Actually, it's your mother. It's lunchtime, says mom. Asad looks at the time. Ya Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, where did the time go? Have you been watching the screen this whole time? I guess I got carried away, says Asad. All right, before we, on, we go on, we've got a couple of questions, okay? Let us go to the group of people. The group of people here, uh, we are going to go to, uh, who do we pick? So many good, oh, man, I'm going to go to, bum, ba, da, dum. let's go to, oh my goodness, how do I even pick? We're going to go to Ali and Adam in California. Assalamu alaikum, Ali and Adam in California. How are you guys doing? Man, I love this room. Are you guys in a classroom right now? No, we're at home. We're homeschooling. Oh, man, we homeschool too. I love your... What, so, what, so is that the planets behind you? Yeah. I see Saturn. I see Jupiter. Oh, my... And who's that? Who's that young... Who's who's the other one next to you? Oh, he's running away. No, don't run away. No, don't. Where did he go? He disappeared in thin air. All right. So who's Ali and who's Adam? I'm Ali. And I'm Adam. Okay, Ali, question for you first. All right. How do you know? How do you know when you've been doing something too much? When you get out of, when you start getting out of control and... 
you start feeling different. Did us did Asad's behavior start changing? Did he start like acting in a way that wasn't his normal kind of behavior? Yeah. What did he do? He yelled at his younger sister. And that's not something he'd normally do, right? Yeah. Now, Adam, question for you. In this story, Asad is like getting carried away. He like starts watching a little bit and then he starts watching more. Is that common or is that like a weird thing that like never actually really happens? Well, that's kind of weird because when like pretend like I'm gaming, my little brother comes. Like I don't really yell at him. Like, I'm but let me ask you a question though, Adam, right? The question is this. Is it easy to get carried away when you're gaming in so far as like maybe you only plan to play for five minutes, but five minutes turns into 10 minutes and 10 minutes turns into 30 minutes and 30 minutes turns into an hour. Like, does that happen pretty easily? Yeah. Why does that happen, do you think? Because the more you want it, the more like, like, you know, like when you're watching a video, it doesn't seem like it's a long time. And then you watch more, you're like, one more episode. That turns to two episodes and three episodes. Yeah, so. it's so common, right? Especially if we're distracted. You know, our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, he talks about something called the ghafla, this idea of being distracted. Like, it's like, imagine something has happened, but we're just not even paying attention, right? When we're in that state of distraction, what can happen is time can move very quickly and we just don't even know what's going on. All right, very good. Now, who's this? Who's the younger brother? I see the younger brother there now. His name is Jude. What's his name? Masha Allah. Oh my goodness, man. You guys, you three brothers, Masha Allah. May Allah bless you guys. You guys need to learn about, you know, the story of Prophet Yusuf. I'll tell you this, okay? You know, the brothers of Prophet Yusuf. Um, so Yaqub is the father of Prophet Yusuf, okay? And when they go into Egypt, Yaqub says, we don't want all the boys to come in from the same entrance into the city. Have you heard this before? No, I haven't. Okay, so the dad, he tells the boys, he says, look, we need to go from different entrances. And the boys say, why is that? And he says, because you boys are so handsome. That if, if you guys all come from the same door, then people are going to start to get jealous. And mashallah, Ali, Adam, you, your brother, and your brother, you guys are so incredible. You guys have to, you know, be careful because mashallah, you guys are shining stars. All right, you guys, good to see you. Let's continue with the program. Bump, ba -da -dump. I'm going to get these guys, these guys. You know what's funny is um, we do our programs now from the treehouse. Obviously, I'm not in the treehouse right now, um, but for like years, um, I used to do the programs just by myself, and that was like such an interesting thing. Um, anyways, okay, so uh, let me get this back, and we've got it. All right, let's continue. Mom takes the tablet. Too much of anything is bad for you, son. But mom, I'm not done, says Asad. Let's go, Asad. It's time to eat, says mom. Mom leaves the room with the tablet. Hmm, says Asad. Asad goes to the bathroom to wash up for lunch. Astaghfirullah, what happened to me? I'm orange. He does look orange. Asad runs downstairs to show his mom. Mom! I watch too much Noor Kids, and now I'm orange! No! Don't watch too much Noor Kids, you'll turn orange. No, let's see what happens. Mom examines Asad's face, arms, and hands. Oh dear, let's go to the doctor's office, says Mom. Dr. Rogers examines Asad's skins. Ah, hmm, what's wrong with me? Well, your suspicion is right, says the doctor. Too much of anything is bad for you. Even Noor Kids? Actually, it's carrots. It's called carotinemia when you eat too many carrots your skin turns 
orange. This is true. Fact. Not making this up. If you eat too many carrots, you end up turning orange. You'll be fine in a couple of days, says the doctor. Have you noticed any other changes, Asad? Well, I was super grumpy. I made my sister cry. I was mad when my mom took my tablet away. I have a prescription for both of your problems. The doctor hands us of the paper. What does it say? It says to reduce the effects of keratinemia, limit carrots to no more than 50 grams a day. To reduce grumpiness, limit screen time to no more than 30 minutes a day. Now we can get a, now we can get that digital scale you've been waiting, you've been wanting. Can I get my own smartphone too? You know, with a timer on it? Asad, just kidding, mom. I don't care at all about smartphones. Get it, carrot? I don't care at all about smartphones. Now look, here is the thing. Honestly speaking, as a adult, an old man, screen time is not just something that boys and girls need to worry about. It's something that the whole family needs to be considerate of. And it's for a number of reasons. First, because too much of anything, even carrots, is not good for you. Too much of anything, even nor kids, is not good for you. Sure, watching a little bit is fine but we have the ability to get carried away i want to talk about time for a moment because look you couldn't believe it but the month of ramadan is almost over when you look up at the moon today you'll notice that it's actually going to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller every day until it's not visible at all and then the month will be over where did the time go? The thing is, our time is valuable. Imagine you have water and the water is coming from the tap and it's coming unlimited. You don't really care about the water in that situation because you feel like the water is unlimited. But imagine you're in a desert island and there's no one there and there's no water. All you have is one bottle. Every drip would be worth more than a mountain of gold because you know that this water is what you depend on. Our time is similar. When we think about our time as like a water faucet that is coming down, okay? A water faucet that is coming down and the water never stops, we don't value our time. We think, oh, our time is unlimited. I'll just waste it. I'll waste it watching TV. I'll waste it playing video games. I'll waste it doing different things. But if we think about our water as limited, like that bottle, that belongs to the person in the desert, we're going to take the most out of every moment of time. Now look, when we started the month of Ramadan, we said that this month is the month of Allah. The seconds in this month are better than any other seconds. The minutes in this month are better than any other minute. The hours in this month are better than any other hours. This is the month when when we do anything for the sake of Allah, it is multiplied 70 times, sometimes more. And during these last 10 nights, we have the opportunity to get even more. So look, we are dealing with our time in a water bottle right now. We have very limited time. We don't have that much time. It's, it's going to be gone next week, you guys. Next week, the month is going to be gone. It's going to be It's going to be ended. We're not going to be able to take advantage of it. So right now, we have to start making the most out of our time. We can't waste it by doing things like spending too much time on screens. Cool? 
All right, very good. Now, with that said, um, I had challenged you all. Actually, it wasn't me. It was my friend Cameron. Cameron challenged you all, and he wanted to figure out what is the best team in the entire universe. Now, many of you participated, and I want to show some of these videos. And they represent what people believe are some of the best sports from different, different places across the world. The first one is about cricket. Let's watch it. Assalamu alaikum, no kids. I'm Ashmal Rikas from Sri Lanka. My Dunia team is Indian cricket team because it has one of my favorite players, V. Kohli. They have won the World Cup so many times. They, I think they are the world's best cricket team. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Salah from India and this is my brother Jafar. The best team in the dunya is the Cricket India team because, because in the whole entire India, every single state, every single city, cricket is the most famous game in India. My favorite cricket hero is Rat Kohli because he can do back-to-back success. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sara and my favorite sport is cricket. My favorite cricket player is Virat Kohli. He's in the India team and every time I watch cricket and me and my dad, we always see him and we cheer for him. Assalamu alaikum, more kids. My I like the Pakistan cricket team because they play very good and the captain Babar Azam is very funny. My favorite player in the Pakistan team is Naseem Shah because I think he balls really good. So that was really interesting because honestly speaking, I I know very little about cricket. I like I always assumed cricket was basically the same thing as like football, but of course it's not. Okay, so we're going to zoom out here uh, a history lesson or sorry, a geography lesson. This is the United States of America right here. Okay. Minnesota. This is of course the best place in, in, in the world. Um, outside of Makkah Medina, you guys know that. Okay. So we just met people from India and in Pakistan. So if you lived in India and Pakistan, someone said, Hey, look, what's your favorite sport? What someone would probably say is cricket is what I'm hearing. All right. Very good. Let us watch the next one. Yusuf, and my favorite sport is soccer. Hello, everybody. I'm Abdul. I'm from Uzbekistan. My favorite is soccer. Um, the side I am is Portugal. I will show you my jersey in the back, number seven, Ronaldo, in the front. My name is Ali. I'm from Jordan, and my favorite sport is soccer. And I also like burger swing. Assalamu alaikum, your kids. My name is Hamdan, I'm 11 years old, and I currently live in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. And my favorite sport is football, not soccer. My favorite team that I always support, uh, Manchester City. And my favorite player has to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Hello, my name is Yusra. I live in Massachusetts, but my family is from Morocco. And as you can see here, I'm wearing uh, a Moroccan soccer jersey. The local soccer players are Hakimi Zayt. I can do a trick with the soccer ball. Did you see that? So cool. Bye. That was so cool. So cool. All right, so let's let's go to the maps here and let's see where these people were from. Okay, so we had one person from Nova Scotia. All right, so. Nova Scotia is a part of Canada, and it is right over here. Wow. So this is Nova Scotia right here. It is on the Atlantic Ocean. I think it probably gets really cold there, but one of the people who we met was from there, which was really cool. There was a girl who was from Massachusetts. This is where Massachusetts is. I used to live in Boston, um, and so she's from Massachusetts, but she said her family is from Morocco. And so she really likes the Morocco team. This is Morocco over here in Africa. Then there was a young man who was from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is right over here. 
okay? This all area used to be called the USSR, and then it broke up, I believe, and Uzbekistan is there, and, and many people in Uzbekistan are Muslim, and I've eaten in Uzbekistan. There's actually an Uzbekistani restaurant here in Minnesota. Oh, man, it's amazing. And so they uh, play soccer there. And again, it's so cool because, like, you know, when we think about that experience of us being Muslims, we're not just alone. We're part of an ummah, and ummah means a community, okay? And as Muslims, we're all part of this ummah together, and it's cool to kind of get to know everyone, and even some of, like, the sports that people like. There was one thing that somebody said in the previous video that I wasn't a big fan of, and, you know, I just want to make sure for a community that, like, we're really respectful and, you know, I know when a lot of kids come together, sometimes people can say stuff and they think it's just a joke, but um, it can be really serious. Um, there was a young man who said that um, soccer is actually called football. And that's um, a pretty significant error. Um, football like Tom Brady, Minnesota Vikings, American football. That is what football is. Soccer, the one that you kick, um, it's not football. That is soccer. So um, it's okay. You guys are young, so you can make mistakes, and that's that's fine. We're all learning. But let's just make sure we don't make... I'm, I'm joking. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get serious, and you don't know if I'm jo I'm joking, okay? So um, football and soccer, people use those words uh, similarly. In America, football is one that you throw, but across the world, football is like soccer. Anyways, all right, complicated. Let's go to the next one, uh, North America. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Zoya, and I'm from Texas. And I'm going to tell you my top three NFL teams. Number one is Lions. Number two, Chiefs. Number three, definitely the Vikings. Yes! Last is North Kids. Assalamu alaikum, my kids. It's Ahmed Dahid. I am 14 years old and I live in Edina, Minnesota. I love American football and my favorite team is Cincinnati Bengals because I was born in Columbus, No, Ohio, no, no. You team. live in Minnesota, they buddy. You live in Minnesota. They have Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Nice. Jamar Chase is the best wide receiver over just. The what, what are you doing? And what is what is this? That I have that is a football is my small football I play with my younger siblings. It's a soft one. It's really fun. How he lived in Minnesota too. And I'm nine and a half. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Isan and I'm seven years old. We like Buffalo teams, so for football we like the Bills. A giant Bruce Smith and a giant Josh Allen in my room. Wow. We like the Buffalo Sabres. We have a Sabres thing. Hello, Alik Lor kids. My name is Salim and my favorite team is LA King. I want to show you what what protection is under the hockey player. Look at my protection gear under the jersey. So cool. My name is Marian, and I'm eight years old, and I'm from Brisbane, Australia. And my favorite sport is basketball. Favorite Bosnian team is called Zmajevi. Favorite basketball player from Zmajevi is Ismet Safic. Wow, that was so cool. All right, so let's go. Let's go back here to the. Um, to the map again the boy was from minnesota but he didn't like the vikings that was crazy all right so um we met different different people here okay so we met salim remember the hockey player he was from los angeles okay so salim was over here next to pacific ocean los angeles is over here very very nice area very beautiful all that there was a young boy who was a little bit misguided okay he was from minnesota but he didn't like the vikings he liked um, the Kansas City Chiefs. Minnesota's right here. You guys know that, okay? If there's one thing that you learn during our Norikids programs, of course, it is the geography and the centrality of Minnesota. Minnesota is very important in the whole world. Everyone needs to know that. Um, then there is uh, Texas. There was a young woman who did pick her favorite three teams, uh, Dallas, the Chiefs, and then Minnesota. She was from Texas. There was a young woman from Brisbane, Australia, okay? 
Brisbane, Australia is right over here. So that's where she lives. And so she used to, she said she likes basketball, but she said she also likes Bosnia. So my sense is that her family is from Bosnia and this is where Bosnia is. Okay. So that means she lives in Australia, but her family is from Bosnia. Bosnia is from over here. Okay. So cool. You guys. Wow. All right. So now we've got other sports. Let's see these other sports. Assalamu alaikum, no kids. My favorite sport is dodgeball because when I play dodgeball in school, it just makes me like so happy. Dodgeball is a fun game. Cheerful. It's a fun game. Assalamu alaikum. I'm from Pakistan. I really like dodge because I want to practice archery. Nice! I want to learn archery because it was Hazrat Muhammad's favorite. It was, mashallah. You did okay, such a good job. You did such a good job. That was so cute. I want to see him do that thing again. The way he does archery right here. Watch this. I want to practice archery. I love that. He wanted to practice archery. I love that, mashallah. What a good boy. Ah, and he got it. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Very good. Okay, yes. When you think of Canada, you're probably going to think of hockey. Yeah. My favorite sport is ice skating. What? Hockey does have skating. So hockey is you have like this like thing and you go like, Yay. there's like a puck. And you try and hit the puck. Like you have to go like this and you're skating and you're hitting the puck. The biggest team in Canada is probably the Toronto Maple Leafs. Assalamu alaikum, no kids. My name is Yusha. This is my sister Zaina. I personally play tennis. I'm just gonna show you a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's yours, guys. Thank you guys for watching our very special video. I sound like a Wow, You're so much. So spi spicy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These guys are from Scotland. Listen to their accent. Scotland. And our favorite sports are gymnastics because it's good for your strength. I sound like an arcade. Wow. All right. So let's let's take a look here at what we've got. So we met someone from Scotland. Scotland is over here. Okay. So this whole area is called the United Kingdom. Ireland is not technically part of the United Kingdom. Scotland is up here. Okay. Um, home of William Wallace. Okay. Then uh, we met someone from Australia over here. They were the ones who played tennis. We didn't know what city in Australia, but they said that they were from Australia. Then we met a young woman from Canada where they said that they play hockey. Hockey is very big here. And the reason why hockey is so big here is because it's cold and they have winter. And so because of that, uh, it's very good. Now, look, among the different games that can be played, I think there's one game that we can all agree is really special. And that game, of course, is called Rock, Paper, Scissors. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we end the program today, we are going to be playing Rock, Paper, Scissors with three different people. And the winner is going to be crowned the official winner of our Rock, Paper, Scissors Saturday night program of the newer kids. Now, as I pick those kids and figure out who is going to be on it, uh, I'm going to play a quick video from newer kids and by the way it's just a reminder that again there's only two more days or sorry three more days that people can try newer kids for one dollar yes one dollar let me do this real quick nana where is allah what am I going to do? What am I going to say? I don't know what to tell her. Hey, relax. We've got a book for that. Wow, very nice. The graphics are amazing. She also asked me, how do we know if there is a hereafter? Well, we've got a book for that too. Now, I also wondered, I mean, she wondered, why do we pray? That's a great question. We've got a book for that too. 
Allahu Akbar. How many books do you have? We have over 200 stories in the character building program. 200? Are who are you people? I'm so glad you asked. We're Noor Kids. For the last 10 years, we've given Muslim families a helping hand in raising children with Islamic values. I feel like it's very important, especially for Muslim kids, to be able to have something in front of them that teaches them the morals and values that we want them to have as they grow older. Each month, children receive a new graphic novel in the mail. They actually all try to jump in the mailbox whenever the week comes. But you know, you tell your kids things, but when they hear it outside, it's different. And that's what Noor Kids brings into my home every single month. It's an opportunity to reinforce learned behavior and hear it a different way that could make them think, mm, maybe I could do it this way. These books follow the journey of our four characters, Amin, Shirin, Asad, and Amira, as they go on fun and relatable adventures. Each book comes with a badge that kids collect in their Global Muslim Citizenship Passport. Noor Kids is more than just kids' books. We use an evidence-based curriculum and pedagogy developed at Harvard University using 36 themes related to Islamic character, beliefs, and citizenship designed to help children learn about Islam in a fun and an effective way. Nana! Nana! Oh! It was a dream. But Nana, where is Allah? We have a book for that. Yay! Asad prepares a science fair presentation. We have a book for that. So look, real talk. Uh, oops. America. Oops. Uh, <laughs> um, honestly speaking, if you haven't joined Nora Kids yet, uh, time's running out. And uh, do it now so that way your family can benefit and also so that way we can get your support because we need it. Inshallah, you'll love it. So uh, take advantage while you can. All right. So here's what we got. I have different people from across the world who are here in our first ever Nora Kids Rock, Paper, Scissors competition all right and literally from different places we've got zayn from london ariz from malaysia we've got ilham and imran from saudi arabia we've got rukaya from hong kong we've got hamda and wildan from the maldives and we've got hadia and bilal from sweden so we're going to start with zayn and ariz from in from malaysia assalamu alaikum gentlemen Oh my goodness. How are you doing, buddy, Zaid? Um, I'm doing good, thank you. You're doing pretty good. What time is it for you? What time is it for you? Um, The time for me currently is 10.58. Okay, so pretty late. Ariz, what about you? What time is it for you in Malaysia? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good to see you, buddy. The time for me in Malaysia right now is 6.58 a.m. So it's very early. Now, Ariz, question I'm also for you. From Pakistan. Oh, you're in Pakistan right now? I'm also from Pakistan. Oh, you're also from Pakistan, but you live in Malaysia. How did you hear about Noor Kids? Uh, I've heard about Noor Kids. So, like, uh, my mom told me about Your this. mom found out about it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Very good. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, because I enjoy having you here. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. All right, now, are you guys familiar with rock, paper, scissors? Okay, so the way it yeah, works, it. it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay? And you can either be rock, you can be paper, or you can be scissors. Or scissors. Okay? So we're going to do best of three, and the winner is going to go on. All right, now before we do this, I want you guys to mentally think about what you're going to do, what your strategy is, so on and so forth. I want to just sh showcase the maps here. Okay, let me showcase the maps here because this is a real clash of the titans. We have Ariz, who is from, uh, I believe it was Ariz. Uh, we'll get the names in a moment. But Malaysia is right over here. So this is Malaysia over here. And then uh, London, England is over here. Okay, so that's where these two brothers are from. And mashallah, like again, so cool that our community is so diverse. All right, Ariz and Zayn, you guys ready for this? Yeah. All right, it's going to be rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, you guys both got scissors. Tie. Okay, again, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Okay, so Zayn got that. Zayn's up one to zero. Okay, best out of three. Ares, you still have chance. Okay, again, one, two, three, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, is that a stone? Zayn, it looks like you've defeated Ares. Ares, I'm sorry, buddy. He got you. He got you. But hey, you put up, you put forward a valiant effort. You put forward a val and you represented your people uh decently i mean honestly it would have been nice if you won one but that's okay that's okay hey very good thank you ours so ours um we are going to have you come off now we're gonna have um zane is now going to go against imran and ilham in saudi arabia assalamu alaikum Actually, you know what? We're going to do something slightly different. Um, we're going to do tournament style. So we're going to have Ilham and Imran. You guys are going to go against Hamda and Wildan from the Maldives. Assalamu alaikum, Hamda and Wildan. You got to unmute, my dear. Okay, so what time is it there in the Maldives? 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Allahu Akbar. Shouldn't you guys be sleeping? No. No, it's eating time. Oh my goodness. Is this the first time you've joined Nora Kids or have you joined before? Yes. Okay. First Can you send us a message? This is your first time joining? I'm the one who got kicked out. Oh, you got kicked out before? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. But so you guys no, have been. I was breaking out. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm happy you're here now. I hear that the weather in the Maldives is really nice. Is it really nice there? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, and Ilham, Ilham and Imran, what time is it for you guys in Saudi? 2 a.m. 2 a.m. So you guys should be sleeping too, but you guys are awake. Mashallah. Um, how did you guys hear about Nora Kids? From Maryam Masood. Oh, Mashallah. Last year when she was on. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so now, you, do you guys know how to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Yes. Okay, all right, so while you guys are coming up with your strategy, we're just going to look at the maps real quick, okay? So Ilham and her brother are from Saudi Arabia, okay, which is right over here. And our other deer is from the Maldives. I'm actually going to use Google for help here because I don't want to make a mistake. The Maldives are right over here. Oh, my goodness. So they're on an island over here. Oh, my goodness. So, like, you guys, real talk. Like, you know, in Minnesota, it gets, like, cold and stuff. The Maldives, this is what the Maldives looks like. So, oh, my goodness, you guys. Ah, what a world. Inshallah. You guys have to invite me to the Maldives someday, okay? Invite me there, inshallah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Hamda, are you going to be doing it or is it going to be your brother? It's going to be your brother. All right, Wildan, you're going to do it. What, Wildan, can you stand up straight and can I see you practice? Yeah. Okay, so it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, right there. Can you go back a little bit maybe? Put your hands back so that way we can see it a little bit. Okay, and uh, Ilham and Imran, who's going to be doing it on your end? It's going to be Imran. Okay. Um, Will Don, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't see you very well at all. So, um, we have to make sure that we're able to see your, your thing. Okay. So you guys, it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Three, two, one, shoot. Okay. Ready? Rock, yes. paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. So we have scissors and paper. Will Don won that one. Okay. So it's one zero Maldives. Okay. Again, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, we're going to do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well done. I can't see your hands, my friend. I'm sorry. I can't see your hands. Uh, so you have, so, so I'm, we're going to do that again. Well done. I'm going to ask you to put your hands back okay. so I can see your hands. Okay. Well done. I, I can't see your hand. I still can't see your hands very well. Okay, very good. All right. So it's going to be three, two, one, go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, both scissors. Let's do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, both paper. Let's do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well done. Is that a is that a rock? 
Okay, well done. That's a rock. Well done. You won. Imran, sorry, buddy. You didn't win this one time, but you did a good job. You stayed in the game. You did great. All right, very good. So now we're going to do our last one over here, which is Rukaya from Hong Kong. And we've got Hadia and Bilal from Sweden. Assalamu alaikum, guys. How are you doing? We're good. So now, Hadia and Bilal, do you guys speak any other languages? Yeah, we speak, speak Urdu and Swedish and English, and he can speak Punjabi. Can you say, hello, my name is Hadia, I live in Sweden, in Swedish? Hey, So cool. So cool. And what time is it in, South, in Sweden right now? It's 12. It's 12. Okay, midnight. And how did you guys learn about Nora Kids? Dad told us. Your dad told you. Are you are you happy that he told you? You guys are like, oh my goodness, I can't believe we have to be here. Yeah, I told my cousins yesterday. Uh, subscribe. Yeah, oh, I, I yes. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah, just just grab them. Just subscribe right now. Okay, very good. Thank you. You guys, you know, we deliver for free to Sweden. We seriously do. So Tell your friends in Sweden because we need more friends in Sweden. Okay. And then we've got Rukaya from Hong Kong. It looks like it's late Hong Kong. It looks like she's she's the only one awake, maybe. Assalamu alaikum, Rukaya. Can you unmute? See if you can unmute. Rukaya, does your Zoom unmute? There we go. Hey, salam, Rukaya. Should we be whispering because it's so late at night? Should we be whispering? No, it's actually 7.07 a.m. Oh, so it's the morning for you? Yeah. Oh, okay, very good. And now, Rukaya, um, how did you guys learn about Nora Kids? Uh, one of my friends' mom sent to my mom. Oh, really? And then she told me. So is this your first time joining or have you joined before? No, I've joined before. Really? So you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, man. And are you telling your other friends in Hong Kong? There's not really much Muslim friend I have. Oh, really? Hey, so do you speak any other languages? Yeah, I speak Chinese also. Can you say, hello, my name is Rukaya, and I live in Hong Kong in Chinese? Okay. Oh, my goodness. The only thing I can say in Chinese is ni hao. <laughs> ni hao means hello, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so good. All right, so now, Rukaya, do you know rock, paper, scissors? So it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Yeah. Yep. And Hadia and Bilal, who's going to be doing it on your end? Bilal. Bilal. Okay, Bilal, you understand rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Okay. Now, yes. as you guys are strategizing and practicing, I'm going to just go to the maps and show you guys where these places are, okay? Man, Muslims all over the world. So... Um, Bilal and his sister are from Sweden, okay? They're probably in Stockholm. Stockholm is really big. I've never been there before, um, but apparently there's a lot of Muslims there. Actually, in Norway, too, there's supposed to be a lot of Muslims there. And then Rukaya is from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is over here. It's not like officially a part of China, but it kind of is. It's kind of like got a very interesting history. A lot of people speak English there, and a lot of people also speak Chinese there. And actually, there's a lot of Muslims in China. Um, there's actually more Muslims in China than anywhere else in the world. A lot of people don't know that. Um, okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Rukaya and, um, and Bilal, the first one is just going to be a practice. Okay. Just because I want you guys to get like the rhythm. And then after that, we'll do the real deal thing. Okay. All right. So it's going to be rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so Rukaya, you would have won that one. We're going to do it again. Now, this one's for real, okay? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rukaya, are you, are you paper? Okay, so Rukaya won that one, okay? All right, so Rukaya is up one to zero, all right? You got this, Bilal. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Okay, ready? Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Was it 
rock. Okay, so Bilal got Bilal got it. Okay, so it's one one. This is the most intense one we've had thus far. Okay, Bilal. Okay, Rukaya. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my goodness, Bilal got it. Bilal got it. Allahu Akbar. Bilal got it. Rukaya, I'm so sorry, my dear. You didn't get it, but you did a good job. You represented your people very well. Inshallah, we'll see you guys again soon. All right, so now we've got the final three. We've got the final three. All right? So first, by the way, okay, so first we're going to do Zayn and we're going to do Wildan. All right? So now again, the first one is going to be practice, and then the second one is going to be for real. Okay. Now, well done. I, I got to be able to see your hands. So if you can come uh, come back a little bit, um, so we can see your hands, that'll be great. Okay. Very good. All right. So the first one is practice. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. We're gonna do it again. All right. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so Wildan got, uh, Wildan, is that paper? Yep, okay, so both of you guys did paper, so we're going to do it, so it's tied up. It's tied up, okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, they were both scissors. We're going to do it again. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so... Zane got paper. I think Wildan, you had rock, or at least I saw rock prior. Was it rock before and then it changed to paper? No, it was always paper. Okay, so let's try to do it on the same cadence, okay? It's rock, paper, scissors, shoot, okay? So three, two, one, shoot, okay? You got this, Wildan? You got it? Okay, all right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so you have paper, Wildon, and uh, Zane has uh, had scissors. So Zane is now up, uh, uh, I think, one to zero. All right, so now it's the last one. All right, let's do this, okay? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, Wildon, what do you got, buddy? I can't see your hands. Okay, so he's got... Scissors and Zane has got rock. So Zane is the winner. Well done. You did a great job. Hamda, you did a great job. And even though you didn't win, at least you guys live in the Maldives and you guys have awesome weather. And we don't have that. So hey, that is come. what's that? You should come. Yeah, you guys, if you guys have a masjid, you should invite us. I would love to we come. Have masjid. This is very easy to we speak Maldives. Hands. Yeah, tell this is very easy to speak Maldives. Oh, do you speak another language? Okay, very good. Well, hey, yeah, tell your mushad to invite me. I'd love to come. I'll bring my whole family. Okay, we'll come to the Maldives. Yes, inshallah. 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 Good to see you guys. All right, we'll see you guys later, okay? Assalamu alaikum. You guys, the Maldives is really beautiful. Some times people go there for their honeymoon because it's so beautiful after they get married, like once in their lifetime. You guys, if if I ever go to the Maldives, I will record the whole thing and I'll share it with you guys. All right, so now the moment we've all been waiting for, okay? We have Zane representing London versus Bilal from Sweden. Now, they can both feel good insofar as neither of them will ever be as good. You know, there's no American who's playing. Of course, if there was an American playing, they'd probably lose. Okay, that's okay. But, you know, hey, we'll find out what's better than the two. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. All right. So Bilal and Zayn, the first one is going to be practice. Okay. First one's going to be practice. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. All right. Very good. Now this one's for real. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. So, so Bilal's got that one. Bilal's got a rock. All right, one zero on Bilal. All right, let's do this. Second one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so we've got, is that scissors, Bilal? Oh my goodness, Zane, I'm so sorry, buddy. Zane, you did such a good job. All right, so now, Zane, you did great. Hey, Zane, do you speak any other languages? Um, No, sadly. Can you just say Walt uh, for us? Um, okay. 
Whoa, uh, whoa, uh, whoa, uh, all right, very good. All right, so hey, Bilal, now it's you and me, buddy. Let's do this. Yep. What's that? I yesterday I forced my dad to buy your books, but they didn't come. Oh, but, but it takes it takes more than you know, we have to ship it, right? So it'll take like a week, yeah, but it has to come in about a minute. No, it can't come in a minute, guys. <laughs> it can't get to you guys. It's not the way the world works. It, co it, it gets shipped from Minnesota. It goes if in you, a truck. If you live right beside. If you live right beside. Even if you live right beside, like, we're not going to take it to your house, okay? We're going to use the postal. So you guys, 2024. We got to gotta use the post. But inshallah, it'll come soon. Don't be sad, Hadia, all right? It'll come soon, all right? Bilal, you and me, buddy, all right? What do you? Th how are you feeling right now, Bilal? You are representing all the kids and the newer kids. You're representing the newer kids worldwide right now, versus me. Do you think you're gonna win? Yes. Okay. All right. So the first one is practice. First one is practice. Okay. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. All right. Now again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, man, you got me. You got me. You got me. Okay, all right, let's do it again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I got you. I got you. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes! Sorry. Oh man, Bilal. Bilal. I probably have 20 years on you, buddy. You know, the thing is, you just got to practice. With enough practice, you know, you, you just build an intuition around this. You know, if you and your sister just practice more, inshallah, anything's possible. All right, guys, this was fun. Holy cannoli, it's 617. I've got to go. You've got to go. Hey, here's the thing. Tomorrow, inshallah, we're having a really special program. It's going to be great. And as we're entering the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan, we're transitioning and we're focusing on dua, the idea of how we can connect with our Lord and make the most of these last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. And that begins tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Goodbye, everyone.